It's the day off, I'm actually going to get up for a change and I'm going to go out to a garden sale, the first one of the year. It's early January. The first ever garden sale I ever went to, I ended up with the caterpillar. Um, which is okay, he's got a little bit of a split in him somewhere. Cuddle's mother fixed the split in the caterpillar last time. Um, fortunately he's still got another split so she's not here to fix it so I've got to fix that at some point so let's go have a look today and then a bit later I think I'm going to go out with the camera not sure about the weather so it seems a bit windy for the drone but we'll see if it's not too windy then yeah I'll go out with the drone as well Okay, so the garden sale was a non-event. It wasn't actually on. I think they probably decided they didn't want to do it. Although it's a nice day and sunny and clear, it's not raining, but it is quite cold out. It was about three degrees, three and a half when I went out, so I can see why they probably didn't want to put it on. It's fucking freezing in here, Mr. Bigglesworth. The thing with garden sales is it's one of those things that you just pop along to and you pick up something sometimes some people on facebook they'll advertise on facebook what they're actually going to show or going to sell in their garden sale and then if there's something you see you think yeah it's definitely worth going other times it's just a case of having somebody says they've got a garden sale and you go along something's there you might want something you might have not seen before or something you think oh i couldn't mind one of them but it's just a hit and miss thing you don't go there specifically looking for anything the best thing i got at a garden sale some time ago i got a printer which is now broken, I got replaced. <laughs> but I've had that for a couple of years and that did me well, did a lot of printing for a fiver. And the camera bag for the Panasonic, the camera I'm filming on now. This bag, perfect condition, loads of accessory room, pound. So, you know, you can't argue with this stuff half the time, it's worth going. I have recently picked up another bargain which wasn't to do with the garden zone or anything, this was a scrap item. And it's a camcorder, which was free. The reason it was a scrap item and the reason that I managed to pick it up is because when I did pick it up the lens fell out and that's the lens at the front of the aperture this lens at the front is mainly for when it's focusing on larger items at a distance so if you zoom in the extra lens here would focus because that lens is missing you get to that halfway zoom and it won't focus anymore it goes completely out of focus so this item would have been thrown away but for me, for my watch videos, as I've shown previously quite some time ago, I use a Hitachi camcorder for filming the watches, which I bought years ago, fairly cheap. So it films in HD, but it's got a very, very poor low light and very, very poor volume on the microphone. The microphone's terrible on it. So this does focus if you're close up or if you put it into manual focusing mode. So I'm going to use this for the watch videos because you can adjust the volume on the microphone on this. The weather's still... It's windy, but it's um, quite nice and bright out, so I want to go out and do some photography. I learned a few things on YouTube last night I want to go out and try. And I will try and get the drone out. The batteries aren't that flat at the moment, so the drone's got a bit of life in it. I will give that a go and see what we get on with if, if the wind isn't too bad. Okay, so this is just a test on the format to see if it records, how it records and how it looks. Um, I think the focusing is probably going to be okay, but I'm not sure about the recording format. But we'll see. So I went out with the drone. The wind and weather wasn't too bad. The wind definitely wasn't too bad for the drone. So I managed to fly over a lake, get some nice footage. The wind wasn't that strong, but it was strong enough to put off the microphone on the camera. So I did do a little bit of filming with the camera, spoke to the camera. You can't hear a word I say because the wind was too much for that. Well, it's still, it's windy. It's not as windy as I thought it was gonna be, but it's bloody cold in some places. Hence the gloves the camera I'll try the phone but I'll see how it goes but I got a nice few pictures of a field full of sheep strange enough and some pictures of a place called Eastwell Manor which is at Ashford which was quite nice one of the things I need to take note of one of the things I need to get used to with the Mavic Pro is sort of its intentions the name is a bit of a hint Mavic Pro and it's a lot more pro than the other drones I've got. So the other drones I can, the Spark virtually take off and it's in the mode you want it to be in. You can change a few color settings, maybe change the um, exposure, that sort of stuff. The Mavic Pro has a lot more settings to it and there's a lot more to it than just filming straight out of the box or taking it straight up in the air and filming. It looks like I'm gonna need to do a lot more setting up before I fly. 
setting things like the white balance, focusing points, focusing sharpness, and stuff like that, which I don't tend to do with the other drones. So because it's a pro drone, we expect it to do that. It's just a case of a little bit of learning to get into using it and being able to fly it and getting the exact picture you want, which at the moment I still haven't managed to get because I've taken it off and sort of flown it and gone, oh, that doesn't look quite right. What can I do? Well, it's too late. The other thing is I've now booked my remaining holiday for the end of this year. So my holiday between now and the end of April is booked. I haven't got any plans as such, but if anybody's got any ideas, anything they can think of that would be a good idea for me to do, I'd be very, very grateful if you can think of things for me to go and film. I might have a few days out, places I had to take cuddles. I will go to something. I fancy going to Mercedes World again at some point, so that might be quite nice to do something different and get out with it. But I need to get a Mavic Pro set up properly so I can do some proper good footage with it. So it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching.